Good morning, folks. We'll start by letting the NRAO take us to Orion. They've just watched superstars blast away baby exoplanets before they could even form. These stars blast their surrounding disks and the region with ultraviolet radiation, stripping away the planet's chances to form. Mount Merapi popped yesterday. Seen a couple good local videos. This volcano has been active for some time now, and this is just but another eruption from the monster. Coming to the weather, this is but one of the systems at North Australia. We indeed have a couple named lows up there, some staying put, one heading for Auckland and another liking that equatorial region. It seems the western part of Europe has had most of the strong storms this winter. Not that winter hasn't been harsh in the east and central Eurozone, but here we are again with a North Atlantic low. Interestingly, the matching high pressure cell is clearing a nice evening for the west, clouds avoiding that high like the plague. Even further west, we see a convergence in the north-central states. It's not a major low, but she draws from the Pacific, Gulf of Mexico, and the Arctic, all meeting there for some significant snowfall tonight. Still warming up in the rest of the U.S., and we'll again have a few storms near the Gulf of Mexico this evening. Let's switch to space weather. The departing sunspots are actually the biggest. CME threat turns to proton bombardment watch at the limb though, and our magnetic portal to the sun is at that location according to ISWA. We have some development center disk as well, but the real story is this incoming group. It continues to pop bigger and bigger flares. We have definitive delta magnetic mixing in the center of that active region, and this morning the uptick in solar flaring continues indeed, heading up higher still. Solar wind is calm, however. No disturbances, including the stream we expected two days ago, so we wait for the next one. These coronal holes are diabolical, the top earthquake condition factor, and this is the first red power opening to face Earth in a long time. To follow yesterday's Cali quake, the polar regions got involved with the 6.8 downgraded to 6.4 well in the south, and a moderate north polar rumble in a very rare location. Furthermore, the coronal hole situation looks eerily similar to three years ago, when we had the Japan disaster. Let's hope we avoid that, but the index factors are elevated. Some closing notes for those who are new here. I'm speaking at the Electric Universe Conference at the end of this month in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Presenters include Electric Universe pioneers, distinguished professors, including the man who doubled the world record for magnetic resonance imaging, leading independent researchers, and a number of ex-NASA scientists. And then there's me. I'm on opening night with Dave Talbot and Walt Thornhill, and Thursday night's show is free to the public. That's just nine days away in Albuquerque. Come out for the show. Lastly, if you haven't seen our new project, my wife and I are taking the dedication demonstrated at this channel and hitting the road to enhance the research and meet a lot of you. Can't wait to see you on the road. Current conditions and a temper tantrum thrown by our sun's southeastern limb to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.